Hi, I'm Melissa McCradden. I'm a Deputy Director at the Australian Institute for Machine Learning. I'm also the Hospital Research Foundation Group Clinical Fellow in Ethics of Artificial Intelligence. I also sit with the Women's and Children's Hospital as Deputy Research Director and AI Director. So my area of expertise is in ethics of artificial intelligence and data science technologies in healthcare environments. What this means is that I work with teams who are working with data and machine learning based systems and I help them develop ways to test, evaluate and integrate these with considering ethical principles. So a lot of this work involves looking at frameworks for how we actually do translation. So thinking about having the right building blocks, making sure we're looking at ethical considerations right from the design of a technology, and then thinking about these all the way through to the point when a machine learning tool is actually brought into the clinic at the bedside. That involves having a focus not just on some of the computational mechanics of the tools that we're working with, but also with the larger healthcare system, so looking at policies, procedures, codes of practice, as well as working with consumers, so thinking about our patients and families who are ultimately going to be the recipients of these technologies. I'm really excited to talk about Project Canary, which is the collaboration for translational AI trials in healthcare. This project focuses on a really unique part of the AI evaluation or translation pathway. When we look at how we integrate AI technologies in healthcare, there's a lot of work around what makes a good algorithm. We also have work around what clinical trials should look like when they're testing AI systems. But there's this interim step called uh, the silent evaluation phase, where we're looking at how a model performs in its real context, but without yet affecting patient care. That's where Project Canary focuses. What we see is that there's not a lot of guidance around how to do this well, and how to incorporate some of the broader considerations that we know are critically important for how we integrate technologies like machine learning. For example, human factors, cognitive science, and looking at how we map these technologies into processes that exist within hospitals. We've engaged with folks from across the world in all kinds of different disciplines, really to bring the best product that we can to demonstrate trustworthy and ethical translation practices. So I'm funded by the Centre for Augmented Reasoning here at the Australian Institute for Machine Learning. I'm also funded by the Canadian Institutes for Health Research. I also have funding from the Hospital Research Foundation who have generously supported my fellowship here in Australia. I was drawn to the Australian Institute for Machine Learning uh, because I knew about some of the great work from the ethics and safety team here, including my colleagues Carolyn Semler, Lauren Oakden rayner and Lyle Palmer. It's a really great opportunity to work with folks from a number of different disciplines, which is important because I think good ethics starts with good facts. And so being integrated in a place where there is such a strong base knowledge of computational machine learning, that really helps me to better develop the ethical considerations. One of the quotes that really guides my work is by Dr. Ruha Benjamin, who is a scholar in the United States. When she's talking about algorithmic fairness, she says, if it is the case that inequity and justice are woven into the very fabric of our societies, then that means each twist, coil, and code is a chance for us to weave new patterns, practices, and politics. The vastness of the problem will be its undoing once we accept that we are pattern makers.